welcome back to Lola Lu channel. This is where you can enjoy sewing, fashion styling, outfit upcycling, DIY fashion project, and practice sustainable fashion. Just click subscribe to my channel, you will love it. This is Lola, and in today's episode, let's see how I transform a casual t shirt into one of my favorite classy top with seven ways to style it. I happened to destroy the fabric at the first step, but it turned out so classy and beautiful in the end. So stay tuned and stay until the end. I'm begging you. Let's start by cutting out the back as my target neckline for today is in boat shaped neck. And yes, it was midnight and I was quite blurred. So while cutting the neckline, I happened to cut a little bit deeper into the working fabric. It's fine. I will find a way to fix it. We cannot go back already. <laughs> I move on to cut out the sleeves as well. I want the top to be slightly fitted to my body so I cut out the extra loose fabric on two sides of the top. As I want a boat neck design, I might leave a small sleeve fabric pattern to cover just my shoulder. The fabric is stretchy so I don't really need to measure too carefully. Flip the top inside out to start sewing. The first one is to seal the neckline. I intended to wear it reversely, making the graphic as a back pattern because I want a clean front look. After sewing the neckline, continue with the sleeve. Okay, now let's sew. My previous project did not use black thread so I need to fill it up first. I really think every sewist has this kind of ASMR favor, which is the sewing machine sound. Do you agree? So, this is how the neck looks like. I mean, not wow, but not too bad. I still can work on it. Trust the process, trust the process. Now continue to sew two sleeves sides. Next, let's sew two sides of the top. Trust me girl, this is such a simple fixing but it's really worth it. I think if I'm not mistaken, it took me about 1.5 hours to finish everything. I tried on to see how it looks. Huh, I mean, still not wow. Somehow I don't like it to be this long so I decided to cut it and make it cropped up. How cropped? You can crop until you still can cover your belly button, okay? Then I hem the bottom line of the top. With the extra fabric I just had when removing the bottom fabric, I will make a strap to wear together with the top. I want it to be long so I cut out the fabric and connect them together. The width of the strap is at least 7cm so it doesn't look too small when you style it. After sewing it, flip it inside out, voila, my sewing crave at midnight is complete. And here is the final transformation.
Now, let me show you how to store it seven ways, which is an additional strap. The first option is to cross it. Second, cool cabbage style tie. Third, collarbone side bow tie. Fourth, chest bow tie. Fifth, neck bow tie. This looks so Jenny Kim vibe, you know. Sixth, halter shaped strap and back bow tie. Seventh, side line bow tie. I think there are definitely more ways to store it. Let me know in the comment your own ways, please, so I can learn from you as well. I enjoy walking around with it, like really. My personal favorite is cross style, cover, Jenny neck bow tie, collarbone side tie. How about you? So that's about it for today's content. I gotta go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching my sewing diary today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and other social medias for more fashion contents, okay? I put it in my video description. Let's have fun with fashions and sewing together, shall we? Bye! Love ya!